She promised she'd be right there with me when I paint my masterpiece. So I wanted to know where you first saw this technology and how you knew that it was something that you could bring to a mass audience. Yeah, the first time I saw it, I think, was in um, Madison at Wisconsin Cinematheque. They did a few 3D screenings there, uh, and I worked there as a projectionist every every once in a while. Very good. Um, so yeah, that was, the, that was the first place, and it really... Uh, the thing I was most impressed by was that it's, it's as bright as 2D projection, which is usually the the thing that gets sacrificed first is the brightness. So, so the process is they use this, the same projector, mm -hmm. but it is filtered through another source, and then the glasses are part of it. Basically, the... everything's happening in the glasses. So the filtering, oh. so what's, what's actually happening in the glasses is that there's uh, like a digital shutter. Um, so the projector is uh, showing you 48 frames per second, and it's switching between left eye, right eye, left eye, right eye. And in the glasses, it's it's blanking so that only your left eye sees what it's supposed to see and only your right eye sees what it's supposed to see. So what struck me about it was depth of field. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you see some conventional 3D film, mm -hmm. you don't even think of depth of right. field. So what, uh, what other extraordinary things do you find uh, in the technology? Uh, you know, the thing, the thing I like about it the most is kind of like you're saying, it's like you're looking into the image it's uh you know less of i think when people think of 3d they're thinking of like things sort of popping out of them. yeah but this is this is really like you're seeing you're seeing far into it um, right so that's i think what this film does really well and uh, uh what these this technology is 